Hello. On this episode of Craft D&D, we're going to make some scary eggs. To start our project, you will need some egg-shaped styrofoam. I got mine from a hobby shop. But around Easter time, you can often find them in regular big box stores. You need a craft knife and some kind of cardboard stock, like from a cereal box or some other kind of food box like that. I used a screwdriver to dig out the styrofoam. Paint and brushes will also be needed. I figured out by tracing a jagged edge at the tip of the styrofoam, but I quickly figured out that step is completely optional. After I started stabbing into the egg, I found that it worked just as well, and the tracing step can easily be skipped. As you can see here, I am stabbing into the egg with the craft knife. You do not want to try to cut or saw, as the knife can slip and you could end up getting cut. Just a little safety tip there. Just take your time and don't rush it. It's pretty much just a bunch of little stabs. Stab, 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 stab. Once you have finished stabbing all the way around the egg and have it cut loose, it's time to pry the top part off. If you don't plan on using this piece in your craft, you can just rip it right off. For this piece, I'm going to use the top and attach it to the base, just kind of lean it up there. So I first, I tried to pry it loose with my fingers, but I quickly switched to pliers. So you don't want to grip too tightly, just get a firm hold so it doesn't slip or, you know, crush it. Then a quick twist to the yank and the two halves came neatly apart. If they don't come apart quite as you intended, then hey, it's art. Everybody will believe if you tell them you intended to make it look like that. The next thing I had to do was clean out some of the excess foam from inside the egg. I did this with a screwdriver, which I poked into the middle and started to pry out the pieces. You might want to try a couple of different tools here until you figure out what works for you. Just keep carving out the excess until it looks right to you. This is very subjective, but you're going to know it when you see it. After you have everything carved like you want it, it is time to attach it to the base. Now I just cut a bit off a cereal box and then glued the egg to it using PVA glue. A PVA glue, white glue, school glue, whatever you want to call it, it's all pretty much the same thing and generally works just as well. Personally, I think the only real difference is the amount of water in it. To attach the top of the egg, I test fit it to find a spot that looks good and then glue it into place. Quick, easy, and simple. In this next part, I wanted to create some texture or interest on the floor around the egg. Perhaps the egg is leaking a bit, or maybe it has tendrils and sprouts from it. Whatever the case, I used some hot glue to just make a few quick lines running from the egg off to the edge of the base. This also has this added side effect of making the base a tiny bit stronger. For these eggs, I also decided to run a bit of hot glue along the cut edges of the egg. I did this to try to hide the styrofoam bubbles and to try to give it a more natural appearance, <laughs> as if some spider eggs could be natural in appearance. To help smooth the outside of the egg, I painted it with some clear fingernail polish. Now this is the absolute cheapest polish I could find. It did the trick by smoothing out the outside of the egg without eating it away too much. Next I painted everything in black. 
do not use spray paint here as it will eat the styrofoam and ruin your work. Sometimes I use spray paint on foam to help give things a weathered look, but usually you want to just brush on acrylic. Spray paint will eat styrofoam. Once I had the black sections done, I mixed some white into my black paint to make it a medium shade of gray. I brushed this onto the outside of the egg. Because I wanted to put some gold sparkle into the eggs to give a bit of color, I added some hot glue inside the eggs and then sprinkled some glitter on it. Poof! Instant treasure. Thanks for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future episodes. Thank you.